This is the story of how I turned an arcade button into a light switch, from 3D printing to the electronics inside. It all begins with this latching relay. Regular switches work by physically disconnecting the power, but this board works a bit differently. It sends a signal to the relay, and because we're just sending a signal, we can use any button we want, like the built-in button on the board, or something more interesting, like these arcade buttons. The only problem with using a board like this is that it requires five volt power. And so to fix that problem, I'll be using this tiny five volt power supply. For this project, you'll need some arcade buttons, a latching relay, a five volt power supply, and some wire. There's quite a lot going on in this little box. So before I draw it all out in CAD, I'm just gonna get a rough idea of where everything's gonna go. That took a lot longer than I thought, but I've just had it to print. And once it's finished, we're gonna see if everything fits and assemble the base for the light switch. Oh, these look pretty good. So now that I know everything in here fits just fine, I can move on to adding some threaded inserts into these holes and the wiring, which is gonna involve some soldering and crimping with this tool. Now I've been told the best way to do these inserts is to melt them in to almost all the way and then with something flat, just push them in the final bit. And that way they should be dead level on the surface and not crooked. So I'll give that a go. Okay, so I've got a bit of a test set up here. This is just a ceiling light hooked up to the switch, not boxed in, but wired up correctly, uh, going to the power. Now I've done this because I'm a bit scared I've done something wrong. And wiring elect and electronics isn't my expertise. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see how this works. Hopefully it will be fine. Okay. I see a red light, which looks good. Oh yeah. So now that I know everything in here works, I just need to glue in these components, tidy up the wires and print the faceplate, which is going to hold the arcade button.
This project ended up taking longer than I thought it would at the beginning. Because you're dealing with AC voltage, it can be a bit nerve wracking making sure you get the wiring correct. But I'm really happy with it and it's got this amazing satisfying click because not only does the arcade button click, but when the relay engages, it makes this snapping sound. So you get sort of a two for one when you click the button. If you like this video, subscribe because I'll be making some more stuff soon.